It's Lori Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day in day two in Laguna Niguel. Terry put together this adorable little vignette here. I'm just going to add one more little ruchia right here at the base. They are not allowed in their HOA to have their hoses exposed. <laughs> it's an arrestable offense, I guess. Um, anywho, I'm slap happy. You'll have to forgive me. So Hannah pulled this, this uh, Asian kind of Japanese vibed pot in, and I'm loving that. I love how it pulls the textures and the colors of the plants um, from the, you know, it's just, it's, it's just, it's cool. Yeah, so it's put great. The hose in the pot, so put the hose in the pot. That's the idea. Now this will, this is actually, as we mentioned, and I believe day one, this is common, common area. This will, however, be another phase. Our homeowner is going to very generously pay to have me do this, despite the fact that it's not really her property, just for her own pleasure. <laughs> and because she's a generous soul that wants to share the beauty of these plants with her neighbors in her condo community. So what I did here, I just underplanted these attenuatas with some bromeliads and staged some boulders and did a little elevating. And in the winter, spring, um, late fall, fabulous. In the summer, I don't know. It's supposed to get kind of hot right here. So we'll see how the Brahms do. If they're not happy, there's not that many of them. But if you have a kind of shady area and you're looking for a combo, I'm really loving the attenuata with the bromeliads. I think it's great. And Terry is blinging the heck out of these pots. Um, she did her magic and whip in a chair and just put these together in such beautiful combinations and is top dressing with fire glass that I got at Southwest Boulder and Stone. They have got the colors and the textures and the types. If you're looking for fire glass, look no further. Same here, just a couple of bromeliads amongst the attenuatas that were already there. Are you gonna tell her to keep the cups full? Yes, uh, this is um, a overhead spray situation. Again, it is association water, so I think they'll probably stay full. But just in case, um, I'll tell her to keep her eye open. Our client found on OfferUp, she found this incredible mosaic bench that Cullen leveled and staged for her. It also, you know, technically open space here, but why not, right? It's absolutely beautiful. Love that there. Um, this is all open space, but we might get to do some fancy stuff here too in time. And now you can see what we've been doing today. Uh, yesterday we were able to get the bulk of the soil and the bulk okay the not even the bulk like half maybe of the soil because we bought in bags and I didn't get bulk soil and I'm you know I just I wasn't sure we had 14 more bags. yeah we had 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 22 23 total bags of soil and we used all but one so you know these but these beds are wide I mean they're they're at least four feet in in some places. I'm gonna go ahead and get kind of some close yeah, Hannah will get some close-ups for you while I babble on so you can really get the feel of it. We're gonna wrap up for today. We had a wonderful visit from our Tustin client from Roz. I had was able to find her a cactus uh, talavera. So she came to pick that up today and I got to see Roz and that was wonderful. So good as always to see another cactus and succulent affectionado. She loved the garden. This client, of course, is just beginning her journey with Talavera and is so excited. Roz gave her a hookup in Whittier for Talavera called Goat. What was it? I was oh, crap. I'll find out, guys, and I'll link it in the, or I'll, I'll put the name in the description, either on today's video or tomorrow's. Um, but there's a place in Whittier, I guess, that's got the Katrinas and all the goodies. So our client's going to head tomorrow um, to pick up a Katrina. And as Hannah works her way down, you will see her latest acquisition. In addition to the bench today, she got a Talavera fountain. And she's going to have an electrician come uh, and run some electrical out there so that you know, she can make it go, but I wanted her to get it and I wanted to get it staged, even though we know that it's not going to be operational until after an electrician can come in and get, 
get electric out here, but isn't that so pretty? We're gonna show them in a minute. Okay, um, so yeah, she had a lot of this Talavera. She had, um, Terry did, has done most of, mostly pots and small vignettes. Cully and Hannah have been working on vignettes. I've been working on vignettes. And I don't know, I mean, I, it, it's the point now where I can't tell whose is what. The crew is so good. These guys are so good at this. But there's just enough of their each of their own individual artistic bent to make it that much more special because it's not samey, you know. There are there are just artistic expressions afoot here, um, and I, I just love that. So I changed my mind and I did pull a big beautiful jasper purple. Bur purple boulder out of here um because i forgot about this gorgeous blue ceramic pot so the ceramic pot is holding a aloe cameronii which i've just got it it's just a cutting and i've just got it slopped in there i need to plant it but our client loves red so i can't believe already this has been this was from claremont in san diego from the maintenance which was earlier this week and look at how it's already turning red so this is going to turn all red for her and I thought that would be a really neat contrast against the jasmine wall she's already having second thoughts about the jasmine she had it put in just six months ago when she had the hardscape done so she didn't really want to get rid of it when she hasn't even really had the benefit of the flowers yet so I told her you know what just live with it let it bloom this summer, enjoy the fra fragrance, and then we'll revisit. And as part of phase two, if she wants to rehome the jasmines and open this up for succulents, great. Um, Why don't you show those little balls? And let you oh, yes, them. yes, yes. I'll show you the balls. Didn't I? Well, didn't we do that yesterday? Well, I don't know if you showed the people. I feel like we, I did, but maybe I didn't. Okay. All right. So Terry did this incredible vignette, and this all started with these attenuata ray of lights that were over in the area where the fountain is now and they just did not like it last summer it was too hot this is the most protected area in the yard uh, so this is what we started with then we had the idea to stage the talavera vase because it kind of mirrors the one in the corner yeah because it it you know we got kind of the the vibe going corner corner we've got a euphorbia trigona in here and i was so impressed with sally's balls when I got here, these cute little balls, and she's got them in butter yellow and green and blue. And I said, where did you find these? And it turns out that they're not balls, guys. They're pots. See that? They're little pots. There's no drain hole. And they have little holes in them here where you can hang it. But she just flipped it over like so. And now we have a little garden ball. So when you're at your Marshalls, your Home Goods, your Ross, um, keep your eye open for planters that you might be able, spheres that you might be able to flip over and turn into balls in your garden. Just thought that was genius. This pot, another Terry, blonde Terry, out of the box planter creation. This plumeria, remember I mentioned yesterday that she wanted to keep this and it's real unusual and it gets little bouquets of flowers. And uh, I was for it because, you know, plumerias are a succulent technically. So it was in the ground by the air conditioner. I wasn't really feeling it there. So I said, let's pop it in that beautiful pot. And Terry underplanted it with all blues and mauves and pinks. And it's, it's just a stunning restrained composition you know against all this wild crazy color then i decided that this area here where the air conditioning unit is would be our more of our specimen garden so i have oh yeah my shadow get out of the i have the blue glow which of course will get you know fairly significant but the other agaves in here of course are small and will stay on the smaller side then I also popped in a mammillaria and a little um, Echinopsis rainbow bursts over on the other side. So we've got two cactus elements and a couple of, or a few um, collectible agaves. 
and then this gorgeous lime green pot that Terry just blew out. It's just busting out right here against this wall in this corner. Look at this opalina, the Graptiveri opalina. Isn't that stunning? And this is a Thona capensis, which will turn very purple with um, restricted water. Uh, Greg will be up tomorrow to bring our top dressing. I'm going with a chamois beige with black, uh, um, bagged back, bagged black lava three eighths, which I will splash. But due to the heat in the summer, the mess from these eucalyptus trees, I didn't want to go with a dark top dressing. I just want to splash a little dark for popping purposes. Then we'll also be top dressing all of the pots with colored glass. And I'm going to do a special treatment here in the agave cactus specimen garden with a different type of rock. Um, our client has gone so crazy. She's been to two different places today buying Talavera. She got the bench and the fountain and then tomorrow she's going to Whittier to get a Katrina at eight o'clock in the morning. She wants to be sure and have it here so that I can stage it before we wrap. So I'm just so excited for her. She's so lovely. And this is just the beginning of what will be, of course, a beautiful obsession. This has been Laura Eubanks with Team DFS from Laguna Niguel with day two and your succulent tip of the day. Thanks for following. Bye.